Hey everybody, my name is Malira Jones. I'm out here in the woods and if you know me, you know I love the outdoors. But I wanted to talk about my testimony. God did something that was, um, I don't think there's any words to describe what he's done for me. It was invaluable. Um, he saved my life. Um, back in 2004, I was a school teacher. And I kind of stopped singing because I became disenfranchised with the music industry. So I said, let me go to college. And God blessed me to go to college and to get my bachelor's and then blessed me to go on and uh, continue my education. And I wind up getting a master's degree as well. So I began to teach for the New York City school system and uh, in the special ed department. And I began to... Uh, teach the kids and uh and things were flourishing for me so after i received my master's i thought i'd treat myself so i bought a motorcycle <laughs> i don't know where what i don't don't even ask me but i bought a motorcycle and um i remember one of my kids his name was butter he said miss jones don't get that motorcycle no don't ride that motorcycle miss jones because if you do you're gonna die i'll never forget it and i i just looked at him now, at this point, it's it seemed prophetic when I look back in retrospect. It seemed prophetic. Now, at this point, I'm scared. But I said, I just bought it. Long story short, I got on the motorcycle on July 4th, 2004. And it was at nighttime. I didn't feel comfortable riding at night, but I could not seem to find someone to drive me home. And then I'd pick up my motorcycle the next day. So I called this individual and called them, and they never picked up. And I said, well, I'm going to take a chance. Five minutes uh, right before reaching my destination, I was hit by this young man. And as the car is coming, right before we made contact, I remember saying, Jesus. And that was the last thing I said. And the next thing I know, we made contact. And my body went way up in the air. And as I was laying on the ground, I said, oh, God, God saved my life. So I realized I was still here. Then I wiggled, kind of moved my shoulder, and I said, okay, I have my right arm. And I moved my left shoulder. I said, okay, I have my left arm. No, let me back up. Right before wiggling my arm, this lady just looked upon my body and began to scream in horror. And my thought was, oh my God, am I, is my body ripped apart? What, what do I look like? So that's when I moved my right arm. And I said, okay, I have my arm. I moved my left arm. I said, okay, I have my left limb. Then I moved my right leg and then my left leg. And I wiggled my toes. And I was so thankful that my body wasn't ripped apart. And at that moment, I said, Jesus, thank you. So... I tried to live life. I couldn't walk anymore. My self-esteem was gone. I didn't want to eat. I fell into a great depression. Now I have these scars. And I remember even my doctor saying, well, you won't be wearing a bikini contest anymore. Because my leg was greatly scarred. And I remember God slowly restoring me. And I walked in. Um, the basement where my Aunt Rose was living. And she said, Malira, God told me to tell you. She said, God showed me a thumb and a pinky barely touching. That's what he showed me in the spirit. He said, tell Malira that she was this close to going to hell, but I snatched her. So I'm only here because the almighty God decided to save my life. I'm only here because God chose to give me another chance. It was his grace and his mercy that decided to give me another chance. So I really never told anybody about that, but how do you move on in life and not give God the thanks and the glory for what he's done. There were people that passed away. And they.
passed away. But God is so wonderful that he says, you know what? This person right here, I'm going to give them another chance. So I have to give God the glory and thank him every day for what he's done. So I hope this testimony inspires you to give Almighty God the thanks and the glory because he shows mercy in our lives when he doesn't have to. He gives us grace when he doesn't have to. So, once again, I'm learning to just very be appreciative to God. And again, I'm only here because technically I was supposed to die July 4th, 2004. But it's January 1st, 2023. And I'm here only because God Almighty decided to give me another chance. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I hope you have a wonderful day. Do not forget to always thank God for his goodness and his mercy. Teach your children. And as they get older, the Bible says they will not depart. And in between those years, we're going to make mistakes. We're going to sin. We're going to drink. We're going to have sex. We're going to do all sorts of things. But they're not going to forget what God taught them as little children when you decided to take them to church. So, have a wonderful day. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.